Right, so this is how you mod and region change your new 3DS model to USA. And here I have a Japanese one, but it does not matter what region you are originally on. But this works on all new models. So new 3DS XL, new 2DS XL, and the new 3DS. If you're wondering what they look like, then search it up. If you have an old model, then I have a video that I put out recently for the old model. And uh, for this, you will need to be on the latest version. And this is 11.17.0-50. So that's the latest version. And if you're not on the latest version, just go into internet and set that up. And to update, I can show you right now. To update, you just press here, go all the way to the right, all the way to the right and update right here. In case yours is also Japanese and you don't understand what you're supposed to do. And uh, once that's done, you can just exit out of here and turn off your 3DS. And then what you're going to do is take out the SD card, which is on the new 3DS back here. On the new 3DS XL and new 3DS, it's back here. While on the new 2DS XL, it's under here, under the little flap. So just take that out. So let me just take this out right here. There we go. And here you can see I do not have a SD card, so it did not come with this model, I guess. So I'll just grab a new one. There we go. Now what you're going to do is plug this SD card into your PC. So just plug it in. And then let's see here. Go into File Explorer. And there we have USB drive. And now you're going to go into the first link in the description, which will lead you to this page right here and once you're at this page you're just going to press download and then download as a zip file there we go now just give this a second to download and this will include all of the mod files and the region change file pretty fast to download if you have good internet there we go now that is right here you will just keep this and keep anyway and then open file, just go into downloads, and then you can extract the file, just press on extract all, and then extract, give this a second here to extract, there we go, now you can open the extracted folder right here, open that, and here you have all of the files you will need to transfer over to the SD card. So let's just prepare the SD card. You're going to press uh, or just right click on the USB drive, then press format. And here it's important that you follow this exactly. See here, there we go. So I have 16 gigabytes right now. I recommend that you use anything from two gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. Don't use over that or under that, but uh, I am at 16 and you're going to select FAT32 right here and allocation unit size just to use uh, default and then quick format and start. And here we'll get this up, just press OK. And by following this tutorial, you will lose everything. So yeah, format complete, OK. You will lose everything on the SD card, so it's important that you back up everything before you do this. So close, and then take all of the files from here and transfer them over to the SD card. Now give this a second here to transfer. And while this is downloading, we can actually just do one thing, just go into the Microsoft Edge, open a new tab, and you're going to type in Python download and press enter and then go down to this page right here, download Python and then press on download Python install manager. Just give this a second to download, just open the file, install Python, there we go. Just press Y to install Python and enter and then Y and uh, nah, I can just press N and enter here and you have now installed Python. And close this out and we can just keep waiting and uh, don't worry Python might seem pretty scary but uh, it's not this will be easy to follow and I will show you step by step how to do this 
And boom, that is now done. So you're just going to press on USB drive, make sure everything is here. Then you can safely eject the SD card. There we go, take it out and then plug it into your 3DS. If it wants to just go in, there we go, there we go. And open your 3DS, let it recognize the SD card. Then you can go all the way to the left here until you find Mi Plaza, press A on Mi Plaza. And let it just recognize the SD card. And once it's made the files, you can just press home, A and X. And then you can go into system settings here. And then go into here and then Nintendo 3DS and then press on the top one first. There we go. Now you can take out the SD card while the system is on. Plug it into your PC. There we go. Go into File Explorer, USB drive, and then you're going to press on MSET 9. And if you did not install Python, then this will not come up. So it's important that you install Python. And then if you follow the tutorial correctly, you will press two and then press one and enter to do a sanity check. And here you will see we got an error, but that is because the SD card is brand new. So what I'm gonna do is press enter and then take out the SD card. Plug it into the 3DS. There we go. Press OK here. There we go. OK. Then go back. Then press on the second option here. When you see this me thingy, you just take out the SD card. Plug it into your PC again. There we go. File Explorer, USB drive, M set nine, and then press on two, enter, and two, enter. This will install the hacks. Then press exit or enter. Take out the SD card once again, and then plug in the SD card while you're still in here. And boom, you will get the mod menu up. If you did not get this mod menu up, then you need to just restart the entire tutorial. And if it still does not work, try a different SD card and make sure that you have a new 3DS and not an old 3DS. And then just follow whatever it says on the screen here. And A. And come on. There we go, just press A. And here you're going to real quick press start once and then hold start. Let's press start and hold start. There we go. And you will get the mod God Mode 9 menu up. If you did get God Mode 9 up right now, just stay here. But if you did not, I'll show you what to do. You just turn off your 3DS and then once you are uh, with a, th a turned off 3DS, you just press and hold start and then power on your 3DS. That will bring you God Mode 9. And once you're here, you just press A, A, and A, and A, and A, and then go into SD card, and then go down here until you find the 11.15.0-47U file, and uh, make sure that you are on the one gigabyte file and not the 232 byte file. Just be on the one gigabyte file and press A to select it, then press A on CTR and add options, and then go down to transfer image to CTR and AND, and then unlock it, A, and then just follow wherever it says on the screen because it's different for everyone, and A. And this will now region change your 3DS, so uh, it will take about five minutes, but you're not done yet. You still need to make big games like Pokemon games work, and you also need to make DS games work and install all of the homebrew apps and update because we will go back a version uh, because it's not the latest version when uh, region changing your 3ds so yeah just give this a second here and there we go 
Now it's done, just press A and then B and B. Go into SysNAND, CTR NAND, then data, and then press on this uh, on this string of numbers. Press A, SysData, then go down and just press X on the file that ends with 17, nothing else here. It will just delete that file. Just press X and A, and then press on start. Now just give this a second here to boot. There we go. Press OK. Next. Next. Just go through everything here. Do I have a screen protector on the screen? Yes, I do. Let me take that off. Ugh. Can I take that off? Yes, I can. Ugh. There we go. Next. Okay. Continue. Oh, there's a screen protector here too. Ugh. Boom. A little ASMR. Now I can have uh, ASMR in the title of the video. Let's go. Okay. Next one. Okay. 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 Next, and here you will set up internet. Really important step. Set up. So let me just set up my internet. And once I've done that, I'll be back. There we go. Just press on OK. Finish and exit. Next, do not set up. Okay, no, and press on home. <laughs> there we go. Just close out of here. There we go. Now you can go all the way to the right here on download play. Just go into download play. Then you're going to press down L and select and go down to miscellaneous options, switch the HB. Once you get operation succeeded, you just press B, B, B and press home. Home. Yeah, it sometimes doesn't register. There we go. And then just close that and open it up again. And if you did not get the Rosalina menu up, then you have a defective button. So just fix that, I guess. Then go into TVL fix, press A, and then press start. And this sometimes crashes. So if you get a crash screen, just press B and then uh, power out in your 3DS again. That's completely fine. It just happens sometimes and it does not matter if it happens or not. Then go into download play again, then press down L and select. Go, into, go down to miscellaneous options again, switch the HB. Once you get operation succeeded, B, B and B. Then press home, maybe twice, maybe even three times, maybe even four. Come on, Nintendo, you're better than this. There we go, X and open again. There we go. And this time you will go into FBI, go on to SD, CIAs, and press A on current directory, and install and delete all CIAs. And yes, this will install HOP, Anemone 3DS, Checkpoint, FBI, Homebrew Launcher, and universal updater. There we go, install finished. Now I can just press home, close, and here you can just unbox all of your apps. There we go. 
I might actually have to delete uh, a chop from here because Mega and YouTube don't really like that I include it sometimes, but uh, maybe not, we'll see. But uh, if I can't include it, then I will have a video linked on how to download a chop. It doesn't take more than like three minutes, really. Then just go into system settings and A. And then other settings, go all the way to the right here. This is where you need internet. So just update your system, install, okay. Now, while this is updating, just let it update. And once it's done updating, I'll be back. There we go, it is now updated. Just press okay. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, go into system settings. And here you can see that you are now on 11.17.0-50U for USA. So that's how your region change your 3DS. Now if you're wondering how to install DS games on your Mario 3DS, that's right there. This is how you install Game Boy games on your Mario 3DS. This is how you install a chop on your Mario 3DS in case I have to take that down, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.